This lecture number six, isotonic solution. We start with the definition and how to determine and measure the isotonicity of the drug and inside the body. We start with the definition when we have two solutions having same osmotic pressure and same salt concentration said to be isotonic solution or tonic concentration. In fact, we have physiological uh, fluid and this solution uh, should have a special uh, or specific tonicity and when we in administer any drug, either uh, tropical, uh, ophthalmic, parenteral, uh, should be compatible with the physiological pH and fluid. For example, we have isotonic solution normal saline or sodium chloride 0.9 percent that said to be isotonic and we will uh, show now in the coming slides what do we mean by isotonic and physiological fluid for example we have a pH adjust especially in pharmaceutical preparation we should take in, in account or in consideration we have uh, pH we cannot apply a drug differ from the pH of that targeted area for example we have a specific pH for lacrimal in the eyes or pH in the stomach so we should take into account this pH uh, and any drug to be formulated uh, should be compatible with the same pH of a specific target or application area so when we use application of the liquid membrane of the body should be adjusted approximately with the same isotonic pressure. So when we make a, a test or experiment regarding osmotic pressure, we should have same permeable membrane like what we have in cell membrane. And the difference in concentration and water potential that will get us to get the equilibrium between both sides so when we have for example uh, isotonic solution of sodium chloride and we place the RBC this is just like a, a small uh, experiment or simple experiment we place uh, uh, RBC inside a solution containing 0.9 percent sodium chloride so we'll see there is no change in the shape or size of RBC that's what we mean we we have the solution is isotonic or similar to physiological uh, fluid inside the body so we'll get in mind we have two types of isotonic solution either hypotonic or hypotonic so if we start with the hypotonic what do we mean means when you place a, a sample of RBC in a hypertonic solution for example two percent of sodium chloride so what will happen at this point we will see the water will move from the RBC to outside to the media and this will cause uh, the shrinkage and rank it in shape of RBC so this is what we call it the plasmolysis means the concentration of the media higher than the RBC and cause to uh, shrinking of the RBC. On the other hand, if we start with the hypotonic solution, it will be reversed. So we place the RBC, for example, in a hypotonic solution. The concentration less than 0.9%, less than the isotonic, means uh, the, the concentration of RBC it will be higher than the media. And the water potential will move from outside from the media to inside the RBC and that will cause to swelling and then rupture of the RBC due to the increasing in size and this process what we called or this phenomena we call the hemolysis due to uh, hypotonic solution that the RBC placed in we have another term what we called isoosmotic or isosmotic solution what do we mean by this term means a solution having the same osmotic pressure but differs in, in the concentration of salt 
so that we called same osmotic pressure differs in concentration and it's called isoosmotic for example 2% solution of boric acid has the same osmotic pressure of 0.9% sodium chloride but they are different in concentration so what we call it isoosmotic substance or solution how we can measure the tonicity we have different method to to determine the tonicity of a solution the tonicity of solution may be determined by one of the following method either by hemolytic method or by collocative method let us start with the first one. hemolytic method as we said previously if we take a solution of two different concentration and we place the RBC we can notice that by examination by scanning electron microscope and you see the shape of RBC or by another way by using another uh, method hemocrit by uh, placing the tube a test tube of different solution and centrifuge and we will see now what will happen if we take a solution of non concentration of RBC inside the isotonic solution for example 0.9% and ACL in 5 ml and we take another test tube one of them with hypertonic and the other with hypotonic solution but you will take now separately uh, let's we start with the uh, for example with hypertonic high concentration of unknown uh, and we compare the result after placing it in uh, centrifuge uh, and after centrifugation we will uh, get the high speed and accumulation of RBC uh, in the bottom of test tube and this is what we call it PCV packet cell volume uh, from this volume we can uh, conclude that either the solution has hypertonic solution by increase by decreasing the uh, PCV because the cell ha have been uh, uh, shrinked or by increasing the PCV uh, like in this result we will show it now uh, when, so when increase the PCV means the uh, hypotonic solution absorbed by the RBC and increasing in size and uh, of this uh, layer and causing increasing in PCV volume while by decreasing the PCV volume means we have hypertonic solution and causing the shrinkage of the RBC so this is the method the second method we will talk about now collocative method it has been determined solution by collocative property like freezing point pressure depression vapor pressure and so on one of these method is we consider it important by determining the uh, property or uh, to use in determination of uh, tonicity of solution one of uh, this method based on molecular uh, concentration uh, uh, second based on freezing point data three based on sodium chloride equivalent value uh, four and the last uh, white Vincent method let's we start with the first one based on molecular concentration means if we have one gram molecular means one gram molecular weight we place it in 100 ml that's we have 1% molecular concentration for example the molecular weight of boric acid 62 but if we, if we want to take one gram of uh, boric acid we place it in 100 ml it will be the concentration 1% that's this is for uh, example uh, if we talk about non-ionized solution non-ionized substance the solution it will be uh, one percent uh, without valency because we have non-ionized so enough for one percent concentration depress the freezing point to minus 18.6 celsius and the freezing point of plasma as we know minus 0.52 celsius so we can use this uh, this this value in determination the concentration of plasma so let's we go with the 
calculation. So, for example, if we have depression of one one percent uh, molecular concentration depressed about minus 18.6 cilius of solution, and in this case, if we have one cilius, how much it will be the concentration? Let's I say it in another way: one percent, it will be minus 18.6 cilius. If we have uh, one cilius, how much it will be this value this value here multiply by the freezing point of plasma and we will get from here the molecular concentration of plasma this it will be fixed now so when we want to calculate other value it will be easier for us by using this constant of concentration of plasma the formula of calculating the weight by volume percent of ionizing and non-ionizing substance as follow as we said if we have non-ionizable substance it will be 0.03 percent concentration of plasma multiplied by gram molecular weight while on the other hand if we have ionizing substance just we will divide the gram molecular weight on ionizing a group means how uh, the valence here how uh, how many ions in this reaction let's we see this uh, example find the proportion of boric acid required to make a solution isotonic the molecular weight of boric acid is 62 and it's a non ionizing substance just we apply on this equation so we have 0 0.03 multiplied by 62 it will be the result 1.86 percent or gram of boric acid required to make 100 ml isotonic got it now let's we try with the next example let's we start with this example find the proportion of sodium sulfate required to make a solution isotonic the molecular weight of sodium sulfate is 148 and it is an ionizing substance means just we know now how many ions in this equation are required uh, to be divided here we apply this uh, equation 0.03 percent for plasma concentration multiply 148 over 3 you will get this result 1.4 gram of sodium sulfate required to make 100 ml isotonic solution it's a very easy example just you apply the numbers on this equation the other method based on freezing point data let's say any solution has a freezing point about uh, minus 0.52 cilius like sodium chloride solution isotonic or lacrimal plasma also have the same uh, equal to uh, minus 0.52 cilius that's we call the freezing point of isotonic solution <clears throat> so we will talk about one percent solution of substance whose tonicity is to be adjusted the freezing point are usually expressed in terms of one person solution which can be noted from the reference table uh, let's we go to the next slide we explain it clearer here we have the quantity <coughs> of adjusting substance needed for making the solution isotonic with the blood may be calculated from the general formula we have here a general formula uh, that required to found the amount of adjusting substance required the formula is equal to minus 0.52 minus a over b what's a what b a freezing point of one person solution let's we see one person solution of an adjusted substance that's what we are looking for and the freezing point for b of adjusted substance let's we take this example and it will be more clear let's we go with this example find the amount of sodium chloride required to render one person solution of cocaine hydrochloride knowing that the freezing point of cocaine hydrochloride 
uh, 1% that I mean uh, to minus uh, 0.09 Celsius and for sodium chloride equal to uh, minus 0.567 Celsius. In this example, we will apply this number on the previous equation. As you know, the freezing point of an adjusted solution cocaine hydrochloride equal to minus 0.09 Celsius and for the adjusted solution or substance equal to uh, 0.576 Celsius. We apply it here in this equation, we will get around uh, 0.676 gram of sodium chloride required to render 1% uh, cocaine hydrochloride in the final solution. The third method based on sodium chloride equivalent. In this method, number of grams of sodium chloride at that will produce the same osmotic effect on one gram of a given drug. In fact, let's we start with the equation in the bottom. Amount of sodium chloride equal to required equal to 0.9 percent minus percentage of solution of drug multiplied by uh, equivalent amount of sodium chloride. For example, potassium chloride has sodium chloride equivalent value equal to 0.76 gram of KCl. This means 0.76 gram of sodium chloride produce the same effect of 1 gram of KCl. And to make this equation easier, let's we go with this example. Find the amount of sodium chloride needed to make a solution of 0.5 KCl. So we have the percent of KCl to be isotonic with the blood plasma. And using the sodium chloride equivalent value from the table is equal to 0.76. We apply this on the equation. You will see uh, the given uh, solution, not isotonic, 0.5% equivalent value and the amount of sodium chloride. We apply it here, 0.9 minus a percentage of a drug that we say 0.5% multiply equivalent by 0.76 sodium chloride you will get this result hence the 0.52 gram of sodium chloride must be added in the solution of 0.5% KCl to make it isotonic the final method we called white vincent method it's more popular also, this method, uh, and easy at the same time. This method involves the amount of water to be added to amount of a given drug, multiplied by the equivalent of sodium chloride and the uh, sodium chloride equivalent value, uh, E, uh, by the constant 11.1. Uh, and when we go to the example, we see how to apply this equation. Also, this equation is easy to get the amount of uh, water to be added to a drug to make it isotonic and the final volume uh, we add the isotonic solution uh, of 0.9% NaCl. This, this is the example. Make 50 ml isotonic solution from 0.5 gram of boric acid. Equivalent value of boric acid is equal to 0.5. Also, the given amount, so we have 0.5 gram, required volume 50, E value equal to 0.5. So first we calculate the amount of water to be added. This is the volume equal to the weight, 0.5 for the boric acid, 0.5 for the equivalent, multiply by the constant, you will get the 0.7, uh, sorry, we will get uh, 27.8 ml this is amount of water the final volume which we want to account is 50 ml <coughs> subtract from this value of water you will get the final volume 22.2 uh, ml required of sodium chloride isotonic to be added to complete the volume till 50 
50 ml and this was the final uh, method and I hope become easy for you thank you